I'm so gone, gone, gone over you, over you. You can put it all on my tab. You can spend all of my cash. I'm so gone, gone. Hey, you guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, I wanted to come to you guys with a story time about when I was in an abusive relationship and the reason why I wanted to do a story time about this let me focus hold on is I'm sure you know there's a lot of people men women you know whatever that's in an abusive relationship um you can get out of it um it took me a long time it was with my um oldest son's father and basically you know i was like i said i was a teen mom so i had my son at 17 years old and um once i had my son i went ahead and moved out of my parents house i took my son jj and we flew all the way from japan because at the time that's where my dad was stationed um i took my son and me and him flew from japan all the way to washington dc where his dad was at um basically you know i came out there everything was good for the first couple months we got along it was really you know just a little bickering here and there um sorry if my camera is not focusing in on me i apologize you guys like gotta work with what i got so we can get a better camera but um anyway it was a lot you know like i said the first couple months it was good then i started noticing just little things that weren't right you know like basically controlling ways of him and he used to get mad about the craziest weirdest dumb little things i mean i could look at a guy literally just look with no intentions to do anything with that guy and he'd be like what you wanna you wanna fuck him you know just crazy things like that it was crazy and um the first time he became abusive um it was kind of crazy because like i believe oh my god it's been, yeah it was crazy i was in the living room dancing you know just having fun my son was asleep in, in our room so you know i closed the door i turned up some music i was dancing to it and um he came in there and he hit me so I won't think in that I'm like what the hell you know like okay what the hell was that about and at the time we lived with his friend well his friend was in at home well his friend was there but his door was closed he was in his room so you know I was dancing having fun no I was not twerking nothing like that y'all okay but anyway I was dancing and stuff and he came in there and hit me and you know I was just looking at him because I was shocked like what the hell what the hell did you hit me for you know I was so lost I'm young young and dumb and I'm just like what did you hit me for he goes you're not going to be dancing and singing all out with my my homeboy in the room so I'm like what the hell and I y'all want to know what the crazy thing is it was Alicia Keys that was the song um if I can't have you y'all know what I'm talking about so he was just acting real crazy. I'm like, what the hell? So that was the first thing. But, you know, that was the first time. And long story short, it was just crazy things after that. Like, I he broke a piece of the bottom of the refrigerator and scarred my face with it. Um, it was so much stuff with him. I mean, I guess I stayed, like I said, you know, young and dumb, number one. I loved him. And I really felt like I could change him. Let me tell y'all now. If you feel that way about the man you're with or the woman or whatever. They're not going to change unless they want to change. And I had to learn that the hard way. Um, yes. So, um, you know, I stayed with him for a long time. Actually, we, 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 we were together for about four years. And once it got really bad is when i moved to vegas you know i actually did get a chance I, I left him and i moved to vegas and then i wanted him back you know i was like oh maybe he changed you know maybe he stopped with all his crazy antics that he does that's 
the honest truth I really thought you know let me give him a chance he could have changed so he flew out to Vegas um, me and my son me and his son were there he flew out and I ended up moving out of my parents house because at this time they were in Vegas I was living with them with my son I, when I found out he was coming I was like you know let's get an apartment so we got an apartment together and it did not stop and matter of fact that's when I knew it's like it's time to let go you know cut your ties I mean it was from bleaching my clothes um, spitting in my face I, I went through a lot in that relationship and, and it really made me so depressed and it made me feel like I was like the ugliest woman on earth it was really 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 bad and then um, once he started doing things in front of my our son you know that was a big no-no and my son to this day can remember some things which is really bad you know and um one thing that he really remembers is we were in the car and I was driving him somewhere and my son was in the back seat and he pulled a lot of my like a chunk of my hair out my son saw and my son is 12 years old and he still remembers that to this day he was like four when that happened you know so that scars children and stuff I knew it was time to go so basically what happened because I'm trying to make this not so long because really I can make this a hour story but I'm not you know I'm just gonna get to the points and details um once that happened I'm I left him in that apartment I packed me and my son's stuff I moved back with my mom um and basically was you know I was still talking to him on the phone once just being stupid like I just look back I'm like dang you were so stupid you know I just but anyway that happened um, I moved back with my mom and um I basically because I was scared of him I really was he was just he was cuckoo I was scared of him and basically I was just basically lying to him like you know oh, I'll, I'll move back with you I'll be back soon the whole time I'm telling him this because one thing about it he he wasn't gonna come to my mom's house he was scared of my mom he was not gonna come to my mom's house so I didn't have to worry about anything like that but um I would be on the phone with him like yeah I'm gonna move back you know just give me a few you know I just need some space from you well the whole time I'm saying this I'm already planning on moving back to VA which is where I'm at now he had no clue about this he honestly to God thought I was moving back with him but I wasn't so I had this geared up in my head I'm planning this out and it worked you know um one of my good friends came from VA to Las Vegas and literally we drove I'm on the camera right now. We drove, oh, see, hold on you guys. You guys go back to the room on the camera. Thank you. We drove my vehicle from Las Vegas all the way to VA. Yes, and it was actually fun. <laughs> and um, he didn't know, you know, I was so, I'm living in VA, he thinks I'm still in my mom's house in Vegas. When you coming back, when you coming back? You know, I'm just still lying like an idiot. You know and long story short I left him sitting right there in Vegas um I was tired you know you know when you're tired like I was with him for four years it was dreadful as hell it was exhausting thinking I can change a man you cannot change no man okay the man's gonna have he if he trust me if he don't want to change he ain't gonna change and you know I had to learn it the hard way it took four years to figure that one out <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway at least I'm happy you know I'm blessed with Keon I never he's never put his hands on me you know any anytime I'm on his you know getting on his nerves he knows how to walk away he knows how to talk to me he knows how to be like hey babe can you chill out you know so I'm blessed to have met him and I love him very much and um yeah I just I left JJ's dad there in Las Vegas and that's how I got away you know I know it's not easy for everybody to get out of a relationship like that but like I said I should have been left him I shouldn't have gave him four years of my life you know so with that being said if you are going through um or are in an abusive relationship please 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 number one oh and another thing I didn't even tell my parents my parents never knew that I was 
getting hit on and spit on and all this crazy stuff I wouldn't tell them I don't know I guess I was ashamed I don't know but my son actually ended up telling my mom because he saw him pull all that hair on my head and it really bothered him he ended up telling my mom so my mom found out all this crazy things that was going on and um, I'm gonna tell you now please tell your family members don't don't not tell your family members like please tell your friends tell your family members people will help you um I learned that the hard way too I didn't tell no family I didn't tell no friends I basically kept it to myself that I was going through this crazy stuff with him um you know the abusive it was abusive and I can both ways you know it was it was bad verbal abuse it was terrible you know and that really scarred me even up until this day it's been years since I've been with him but even to this day you know sometimes I have low self-esteem still it's, it's terrible I I've I, I'm still trying you know but you know going through four years with a guy that made you feel like you weren't nothing and got upset about everything you know it can it can really hurt a person so please 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 if you are going through any type of abuse whether that be verbal or just you know abuse anything please get help please tell your family your friends everybody um the best thing I did was leave him sitting right there in Las Vegas. You know, I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. I left and ever since then I never had to deal with him again. Deal with being abused or none of that. So, to me that was the best thing that I did. But yeah, please if you're going through any type of abuse, get help. You know, because it was, it was bad. I, I didn't tell no one. You know, I don't know why. I just... I kept going back to him like a dummy, you know, the same thing. But I'm I'm so, 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 so happy that I am done with that. I just wanted to um, bring that up because I know there are people going through that, you know, get help. I mean, hit me up. If you got to hit me up, I'll help you. If I can help you, I will help you. But that will be the end to this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Like I said, it, I went through a lot. I literally could be having like a two-hour video. I just knocked it down, you know, to... 10 minutes or whatever but it was a lot and I'm so happy that I'm not nowhere around that you know but um don't forget to like and comment down below subscribe if you're new um and until next time y'all I'm out peace